Do you see this little icon at the top of your browser? Right now, this is the default WordPress logo, but we are going to change it and make it match your site. So today I'll show you how to add a custom fav icon to your WordPress site and we'll make sure it's visible on Google search as well. First, I'll go to Canva and click on create design. I'll choose a custom size and put these dimensions. Make sure you select pixels. Now I'll go to uploads as I already have the design ready. I want the fav icon to be easily visible, so I'll right click here and select apply colors to this page. Hmm, I don't like this color, so I'll click here to change the background color to this. To download, I'll go to the top and download it from here. Now let's upload this to our site. So on the WordPress dashboard, I'll go to appearance and then customize. At the side menu, I'll go to site identity and scroll down to the site icon. Click select site icon and from here I'll select my fav icon that I created earlier. I don't want to crop this so let's keep it for now and after this the fav icon will be updated. So let's hit publish, refresh the page and yeah looks good to me. Now before we move on to the next part did you know that fav icon can slow down your site? I know it sounds funny but if you have viewers using Apple devices, they request these fav icons every time they visit your site. If these are not set up or optimized correctly, then it spoils their user experience or sometimes ends up giving a 404 error. So we fixed one part of the problem by setting the fav icon. Now let's see how we can optimize it with a free tool. Just go to this website, sign up from here, enter your website URL, click continue and it will start optimizing your fav icons and your entire website making sure it loads up quickly on all devices without breaking your site. So we'll see how the same fav icon looks in the dark mode. I know it looks bad. A solution to fix this is to use a fav icon with a light color. Here I have created a white version of this fav icon. So let's upload this using the same steps. Once done, update it. Now let's go back to the same tab and yeah, looks fine to me. First, let's make sure nothing prevents Google from indexing my site. On my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to settings and select reading. Let's make sure this option is unchecked and hit save. In a new tab, I'll type Google search console and click start. This will help Google to index my updated site. At the URL prefix section, I'll paste my website URL and submit it. Now Google will start the verification process in a few seconds and show this pop up. To verify the ownership, I'll choose this option as it is the easiest and requires no code. Back on my dashboard, I'll go to add a new plugin and look for WP code. Here it is. Let's install and activate it. At the side panel, I'll go to add snippet and click on the custom code option. Now let's go back to the search console, copy this HTML tag come back and paste it here. We'll keep these default settings unchanged and scroll back to the top, make this snippet live from here. That's updated as well. All right, back at our search console, click verify. And after a few seconds, your site will be verified on Google. Now we need to submit a sitemap in the search console to help Google fetch our updated fav icon easily. On the Google search console, on the dashboard, I'll go to sitemaps. All I have to do is type sitemap.xml and hit submit. Google will now take anywhere from a few hours to a few days to index your site. I've waited for a few days and now let's type in my domain name and see if it worked. And yes, the five icon is showing up properly. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.